Yarr, my hearties. I be Michael, and this be to come play that game. And welcome back for another... <coughs> I really can't do that voice. Hurts the throat. Anyway, so welcome back for another video on Black Fleet. And this time you will get to see an example of the game being played with my two player house rule variant. If you don't yet know how to set up or play the game, please do watch my previous video, which will explain all of that. And you can find link for that in the description. And of course, if you're interested in finding out my thoughts on the game and a bit about that two player variant and other possible options you could consider, then please do watch my review video. So with that out of the way, let's take it to the table for a game of Black Fleet. Welcome to the Caribbean. I mean, table. Well, it's sort of Caribbean. Because of course, we're playing Black Fleet, which is set in the Caribbean. So I've already set out the board here for a two player game using my two player variant rules. Now, if you're unsure on how to play this game or on how to set up the game, then please do check out my previous video that will explain all of that. So joining me today as my opponent, we have Rogue. And Rogue has been dealt the black ships and the white ships. So she will of course be going first with black as black always goes first in this game. And that leaves me with the brown and the gray ships. So the order of play for this two player variant will be that it will go black, brown, white, then gray. Now I've already done the placing of the ships. So both of Rogue's ships are in the blue port at the moment. And then my brown ship is over here in the red port and my gray ship is right the way far across the table from me in the purple port. So let's get on with the game. So the black player will go first and is going to play this card here, which will allow Rogue to move the um, purple navy ship one space, her pirate ship three spaces, and her merchant ship six spaces, and will allow her to draw a single fortune card during the draw phase. So she's not too bothered about where this naval ship's gonna go. So she's just kind of gonna put it there. And then she's gonna move her merchant ship. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. And she is going to bring her pirate in. Over here on the, the left of the screen. And she has three spaces of movement. So she's going to go one, two, three. And that is then the end of her turn. So she will draw up. She will draw a navigation card as she's used one. And because her navigation card allowed her to, she will also draw a fortune card. And with her turn over, it is now the brown player's turn, which is me. So I am going to play this navigation card. That'll give me one movement on the purple navy ship three on my pirate ship and five on my merchant ship and allow me to draw two fortune cards. And I'm also gonna play Trade Wind. Now this will allow me to move my merchant two extra spaces. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna move this person one. I'm going to move him to there. And then, of course, I can bring my pirate ship on. And I'm going to bring my pirate ship on over here. One, two, three. And then I draw up. And that then brings us round to the white ship's go. And the white player is going to play 
this navigation card that will allow her to move the purple ship one space, pirate three spaces and merchant four spaces and rogue will then be able to draw two fortune cards. And she's actually also going to play a fortune card. She is going to play Naval Breeze, which means that her Navy ship's movement allowance is now four spaces rather than one. And so she's going to move her Navy ship one, two, three, four. And her merchant can move four spaces, one, two, three, four. And her pirate ship can move three spaces. And it's going to go one, two, one, two, three, I think. And then draws up. And that brings it round to my grey ships go. And for my grey ships go, I am going to play this navigation card and also Piratical Breeze. Your pirate ship movement allowance is now six. So this means I will be able to move the yellow navy ship two, my pirate six, and my merchant three spaces. So I'll go one, two, three. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six to there. And I then draw back up, and that means every ship has now gone once, which brings us back round to the black ship. So that's rogue to go. Okay, so I'm gonna play this navigation card that gives me two naval, two purple navy ship movement, five pirate and six merchant for rogue, but I will have to discard a fortune card. So to avoid that, Rogue is going to play all of her fortune cards. So she has two naval wins. So she's got plus four extra spaces on her navy ship. So that can move six spaces this turn. And tidal wave. So she can move through islands. So first thing she is going to do is move her pirate ship. And she's going to go one, two three, four, five, and then attack the grey merchant. And this will, of course, mean that she gets the purple good it's carrying and two doubloons. Then she will move her merchant and she will go one, two, three, four, five, six because of being able to move through islands due to her tidal wave. And that of course leaves her navy ship and she's going to go one, two, use her action to sink the black pirate. That'll gain her another two doubloons. And she still has four spaces of movement so she's going to go one, two, three, four. And then Rogue will draw up. Which brings us to my brown ship, which of course my pirate ship's just been sunk. God damn it. But anyway, um, so she's also just attacked me with her pirate. So let's see if we can't get some revenge. So I am going to play this navigation card here, which will allow me one movement of the yellow navy ship, four of my pirate, five of my merchant, and will allow me to draw a fortune card. I'm also going to play naval breeze, which means that my navy ship has actually got four spaces of movement. And so I'm going to move my navy ship first, and I'm going to go one, two, and sink the black pirate ship. So it's good, goes back to port, and it will go back to the black player. And of course, I will get two doubloons for that. And I still have some movement. 
I want to get in the white player's white ship's way, so I'm going to move to there. And then my merchant ship is going to, well, first I'm going to do, no, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Which does mean I'm unfortunately blocking my own pirate, but never mind. Speaking of which, I have not brought my brown pirate onto the board yet. So where do I want to bring this in? I'm going to bring it in over here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, it puts me very close to that yellow. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then of course I draw up. And we clear the table. And it's now the white ships go. And what does Rogue want to do? So I think the sensible choice is Rogue is going to play this, which will give her one movement of the yellow navy ship, three movement of her pirate ship, and six of her merchant ship. So she's going to move her pirate, one, two, three. She's going to move the navy ship. One, and she's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six and then that gets discarded and she will draw another one and so now we are on the grey ships go and I am going to play this card here so I'll be moving the purple two pirate four and merchant five and drawing a card but wait I'm going to play Freak Wins, and this means I get to choose which value applies to which ship. And not only am I playing that, I'm also playing Side Trading. If your pirate ship doesn't move more than one space, gain free doubloons. So I'm going to use the five on my purple navy ship, and he's going to go one two, three, four, five. And then as an action, he will sink the white pirate, gaining me two doubloons. Now, next I'm gonna use the four for my merchant. So I'll go one, two, three, four. And then that leaves me with the two for my pirate and my pirate will move one to there. So it's only moved one space. So I gain three doubloons, which means I now have seven doubloons. So I'm gonna draw up and then I have the option to buy a card. And I'm gonna buy my five cost card which is quick launch. When your pirate ship enters the board, it can move up to four extra spaces. And with that done, we are back round to the black ships with Rogue's go. And Rogue is going to play this navigation card, which will allow her to move the yellow navy ship three spaces. So she's gonna go one, two, three and sink my black pirate, gaining her two doubloons. She can then move her pirate four spaces. One, two, three, four. And then we get four on the merchant. So she's gonna go one, two, and offload for nine doubloons. So big payout there, which puts her on 
15 doubloons. So that's a big turn. And of course, she's just unloaded. So we have to load her back up. And she's still got two points of movement. And I think with that two points of movement, she's going to go one, two to there. So then she will draw back up. And she now may now buy a card. And she is going to buy her 11 point development card, which is Tide Tables. And this allows her to choose one of her ships each turn. And that ship may move two extra spaces. And that includes the Navy ship she's controlling. So we are back round to the brown player, which is me. And I don't like that Navy ship being so close. So I'm actually going to play this card and move the Navy ship three spaces. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I can move my pirate ship four spaces. But wait, I have quick launch, which means I can move for four extra spaces coming onto the board. So I have eight movement. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and be there waiting. So I still need to move my merchant and my merchant can move five. So I'm going to go one, two and offload, which will give me nine doubloons. And I've still got three spaces of movement. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then I draw back up and I'll buy my 11 point power, larger sails. You may move each ship one extra space, including your merchant, your Navy ship, sorry, you're controlling. Okay, so I have skipped ahead a few turns and it is now the brown ships go. And I am going to play this navigation card, which will allow me to move this two spaces. And I'm going to go one, two, uh, I can move my pirates. Oh, actually I can move all my ships one extra space due to my large sails. Uh, so I'm going to move him to there and then I'm going to move my merchant ship. I'm going to go one, two. Then I'm going to play Whirlwind, which swaps the position of two ships. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm also going to play Lucky Wind, which will allow me to move any opposing ship two spaces. So I'm going to move this pirate here, one, two. So he's just a little further away. Um, and I still need to move my pirate four spaces. So let's go one, two. And I'll rob the little white ship and get two doubloons for it. Three, four, five. Okay, so then I'll discard those and draw back up. And uh, we are on to white. So white is going to play this. So you can move this one two spaces. And we'll go one, two. I don't really know what it's doing over there, but this will go one, two, three and sink this guy, which will earn five doubloons because he was carrying a good. Uh, merchant may move four, so we'll go one, two, three, four, and drop off this one. Oh, no, it can't drop off there. Oh. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, and we'll use tight tables to get two extra movement. One, two. Okay, that works. So drawing up, 
Mm, she's going to have to discard. So she's going to use Following Wind to give her pirate ship an extra two spaces of movement to get to there. And then drawing up. And she has eight coins and is going to buy an uh, eight point card. Fast loading. When your merchant picks up goods, it can move up to four extra spaces. So that's also uh, comes into effect when it comes back into play and gets reloaded. So then we have grey. So with my grey guy, I'm going to use this card here. And that'll allow me to move, because of my larger sails, my the purple navy ship four spaces. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, my merchant seven spaces. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, my pirate nine spaces because he's coming onto the board and I have quick launch. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack and sink the white ship, which will gain me two doubloons. And I still have three spaces of movement, so I'm going to go one, two, three. And that's, and that's great turnover, which is the end of another round. So we are on the black player's turn, and Rogue is going to play this card. Along with that, she will play Freshening Wind, giving each ship one extra space. So she's going to move her merchant six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then off load, which will get her nine doubloons. And she'll reload. And she'll move her pirate one, two, three, four. Hmm, she doesn't have quite enough movement, so she's actually going to play following wind. Move your pirate up to two extra spaces. Five, sink him, gaining five doubloons. Six. And who hasn't moved? The Navy ship. So the Navy ship has... Hmm. Oh, well, I still haven't used my tide tables, so that gives plus two movement, so plus three. So five movement. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not, not enough to reach there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. No, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and just be out of the way there. And then we discard and draw up. And Rogue has plenty of money, so is going to buy her five point power, which means when her pirate attacks a merchant, she gains four doubloons instead of two. And we are once more onto my brown ships go. So I'm going to play this card here, which allows me to move my navy ship two, but because of my larger sails, three. So we'll go one, sink this pirate for two doubloons. Uh, three to there, uh, two, sorry, to there, and then three to there, and then my pirate will come on and will have a movement of ten because of quick launch and larger sails. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
And we'll steal a good and earn me another two doubloons. And still has two movement. So we'll go one, two. And then this little merchant here will have six movement due to my large sales. So I'll go one, two. And drop these off, getting me, because of my insurance, which will give me two for the empty space, I'll get eight for that. So, of course, I automatically load back up. And I still have four spaces of movement. I'm going to go one, no, I'm going to go one, two, three, four to there. And then I'm going to buy my f level 14 development card, which is Letter of Marquis. Your Navy ship may attack merchants. This earns three doubloons and removes a good from them. So, background to White, who has no ships on the board. So, Rogue is going to play these. So, Merchantile Breeze gives her merchant space, seven spaces of movement. Uh, so, she can move this one, one, two, three. And she's actually going to use her tide tables to get two extra spaces of movement so one sink this guy earning two doubloons and we'll move one back to there and we'll go one two three four and we'll come on here and load up And because of fast loading, she'll get four extra space. So there's a movement, which means she has 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll drop off, getting her six more doubloons. And will reload and has one space of movement left which is going to move to there and then discarding and drawing up and she is buying her end game card so being whites go that means i have one more turn in which to buy my end game card with my gray ships so let's see if I can manage it. So I'm going to play this card here. I'm going to move my merchant one, two, three, four, five, six due to my large sales. And that will earn me nine doubloons. But I can move this two, one, two, and sink that black, getting me two more doubloons. And then my pirate ship will have a movement of nine. I will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Attack black. Sorry, that's the wrong ship. Eight, attack black. Nine, and that of course have gained me another two doubloons. And then I will spend my 10 to buy my end game card. And that is the end of the round and the end of the game. We both have our in-game card, and Rogue has seven doubloons, and I have seven doubloons. We have a draw! And that is Black Fleet. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope that you have found it interesting, enjoyable, and useful. And of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And of course, you can find us on social media. We are on Facebook and we are also on Twitter.
And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.